All right, we have some major developments on a story we've been following. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez faces more federal charges tonight. He's accused of conspiring with his wife, Nadine, to act as a foreign agent for Egypt. Prosecutors in a superseding indictment say the Democrat promised to work on behalf of the Egyptian government between 2018 and 2022. This is all while he was serving as the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. As a public official, Menendez was barred from working for a foreign government, obviously. The new charges come three weeks after the senator and his wife were indicted on bribery charges. The couple is accused of accepting bribes, including cash, gold bars, and even a Mercedes Benz from a New Jersey businessman in exchange for the senator's influence to help him out. Menendez and his wife pleaded not guilty to the original charges. Joining us now is Brent Johnson, political reporter for the Star Ledger and NJ.com, and Holden Triplett, founder of Trench Coat Advisors. He's also formerly with the FBI. Uh, I got to start with you, Holden. When we hear act as a foreign agent for Egypt, are they saying he spied for them? Uh, not exactly. So when they're talking about foreign agent, they're talking about FARA, the Foreign Agent Registration Act, um, which is specifically used uh, to limit influence of foreign powers such as a foreign government. And so it, you know, if it was charged with espionage or economic espionage, we'd be more worried about information. Um, but in this case, the, it appears the Department of Justice and the FBI are worried that he was under the undue influence of, of Egypt in this case, uh, taking acts at their, at their behest and doing things for them. Brett, what is this? Uh, do you have any reporting on what exactly led to these new charges and what exactly Senator Menendez is accused of doing? Yeah, we, we were told, uh, the press was told when the initial indictment came out that this might not be the end of it. More charges may be on the way. Menendez so far has steadfastly said that he is not going to resign. He's not said anything about re-election yet. He's up for a fourth term next year. But, um, I mean, there have been rumors of this kind of stuff going on for, for many months and we, they told us that more might be coming, and this, this seemed like the hammer fell today. Well, Senator Fetterman, who was what, the first one, I believe, in the Senate to call for him to resign, is now calling for the Senate to expel him. Yeah, that's very rare. Um, the last time it happened was during the Civil War, or in the wake of the Civil War, where they expelled Confederates from the Senate. So this is not something that happens very often. But we are also told, we believe that he is the first sitting co member of Congress to face these type of charges. So there's a lot of unprecedented things going on here. Ex expulsion would be a major step. You've not heard Chuck Schumer um, say anything on this or the president. But many Democrats, um, more than half of the Democratic caucus in the Senate have called on Menendez to resign and the governor of New Jersey and other state Democrats. Holden, Menendez has denied any wrongdoing. He says prosecutors didn't fully grasp the scope of the senator's job when he works on the Foreign Relations Committee. Does that sound like a good defense? Well, I think what he's trying to set up, um, and obviously it seems a little bit ludicrous when you consider the gold bars and the Mercedes-Benz, yeah. assuming that all these allegations are true. Um, but what I think he's trying to set up is a defense saying he would have made these decisions regardless of if he had this relationship um, with these Egyptian officials, and it sounds like Egyptian intelligence officials. And that's going to be, I think, the difficult part for the prosecution to prove. And hopefully they have that evidence that they've moved uh, to this level um, to show that essentially it did influence him and, and change his actions that he took uh, a step and or took a decision at their behest, rather than simply saying, sure, I'll do this. I was going to do it anyway, but if you're going to pay me, um, it's going to be, they got to show that direct connection to his, uh, to the influence. But again, I guess it's the question of what did he do at their behest? He's got a very powerful job as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. This is in, a, a crucial key ally in the Middle East right now, Egypt. What were they asking him to do? Do we have any idea? Or even there's what might be in the in the realm of possibility. Sure, I, my guess is that there's probably actually a fair amount out there that hasn't come out. Um, usually, they put what they need in the indictment in order to move things forward, and there could be some additional evidence and some additional um, you know, activities that that may come to light uh, later. But right now, it looks like there was some activity you took um, with regards to individuals who were under investigation in New Jersey. Um, it looks like he may put his hand on the scale for sort of moving forward some of the funding um, that was going to go to uh, Egypt, uh, sort of military support funding that's been going on for a number of years. Um, and, and this gets to the, to the crux of it is you know, we have provided this funding to the U.S. government in the past, 
Um, and while there were certain reasons that it was being held up and they were looking at it a little bit closer, it's not clear that he would have taken a different decision but for uh, the intervention of these Egyptian officials. Um, it obviously looks very bad, um, but that's going to be the difficult part where they've got to prove um, in, in court. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.